Molly O'Day was considered by many to be the greatest female country singer of her time, perhaps the greatest who ever lived. Her heartfelt delivery and commanding vocal presence, along with an unforgettable repertoire of classic mountain and country gospel songs, not only secured her place in the history of West Virginia country music, but also was a major influence on female country singers such as Patsy Cline and Dolly Parton. Born Lois Laverne Williamson on July 9, 1923 in Pike County, Kentucky, she came by her music quickly and honestly. Using the stage name Dixie Lee, she performed with her brother Skeets Williamson over local radio while still a teenager. Dixie Lee and Skeets landed a job with the Bales Brothers in Beckley in 1939, and the following year they joined the 49ers, a popular radio band under the guidance of talented guitarist and singer Lynn Davis. A musical and personal match made in heaven, it seems. Lynn Davis and Dixie Lee fell in love and were married in 1941. They would spend the rest of their lives together. For the next several years, the couple traveled across the South with their band, living the nomadic lives of professional radio entertainers and gaining valuable experience and popularity at every step. In 1943, while performing over a radio station in Louisville, Kentucky, Dixie Lee changed her stage name to Molly O'Day. In 1946, legendary record producer Fred Rose heard Molly performing in Gatlinburg, Tennessee, singing a song called Tramp on the Street, which he learned a few years earlier from young and still undiscovered Hank Williams. Mary, she rocked him, her darling to sleep. But they left him to die like a tramp on the street. Rose signed Molly O'Day to a recording contract with Columbia Records, which released Tramp on the Street and sold more than a million copies. Fred Rose reportedly hired Hank Williams to write songs for his new female singing sensation, and Williams is said to have written several songs specifically for Molly O'Day to record. Despite their commercial success, Molly and Lynn became dissatisfied with their lives as popular entertainers and in 1949 turned their backs on show business for good. They settled in Huntington and embarked on a life of ministry. For the next four decades, the pair joyfully sang gospel music, pastored churches, and saved souls across West Virginia. Molly continued to sing in her clear, sincere mountain style, often accompanying herself on the banjo. The pair made several independent recordings, including titles such as I'm Living the Right Life Now, I'll Shout and Shine, and Traveling the Highway Home. Content and happy, Molly O'Day passed away on December 5th, 1987, in Huntington. Poor Ella Smith, how was she found? Shot through the heart like...